Hey, motherfuckers, it's Z-Man, and um, I'm coming at you guys with another Contraptions video. Oh my god! It seems like it's been forever since I said that. Huh. Oh, right, because it has been. Oh my gosh. I feel a little bit bad because I've been being pretty lazy lately uh, with putting out videos. It's probably been, like, maybe a month or two since my last video. I don't even know. Um, but so anyway, getting back to the point. Uh, the video. Um... So I got a message from this guy, Lunar Dragon 33. He was asking me if it was at all possible to make a uh, another sort of combination lock um, with uh, so so that it could be used for like multiple people with multiple combinations. And so it's really just a lot, kind of like my other com combinations locks, except for uh, it has it's. It's it's gonna be a lot easier to set combinations and have v like lots and lots of them and can be used by multiple people and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah. So anyway, like one of the things that he gave example of was a, a bank, and I like that idea, and I just went rolling with it. Anyway, he asked me to do this like probably a month ago, and um, honestly, I, I I I love the idea so much that I hopped on Minecraft and just went at it, and it didn't actually take me very long to do, and, uh, set up and stuff, <clears throat> but, uh, after that I did a, did a vid I made a video, didn't like it, scrapped it, and then just, uh, kind of got lazy after that, and, <laughs> uh, took until now to finally do it, um, but so anyway, getting back to the point again. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry that it took me so long to get this video, but anyway, back to the point, I'm going to show you guys my uh, new contraption. One second. Whoo-wee. Look at this monstrosity. This is probably actually one of the biggest projects I've ever done, like, the most massive. I know, like, my last combination one was pretty big, but in overall, like amount of blocks and stuff, I think this one takes it. I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually haven't used this for a while, so I don't remember all of the combinations. I know one of them. Actually, I, I know if two of them. I don't remember the third, though. Uh, so anyway, show that it works. Show how it works, I guess. Watch. There you go. See? It does something. Um, and then you got a reset switch over here. I'm pretty sure that one of them is just one, two, three, four. I thought I set this to peaceful. Oh, there we go. See? Shot out of minecart. Um, I don't remember the other one. Um, three, two, one, five. There we go. <laughs> I'll show you guys how we figured that out later. Uh, three, two. Oh, I didn't reset it. That's, there we go. Yeah, need to reset it. Okay. Three, Two, one, five, and it's just gonna pop out another minecart. Hold on, wait for it. Maybe it should have. Oh, there it comes. Okay, it's a little slow. And there you go. See? So, uh, ah, damn it. <laughs> um, so three different combinations that uh, God damn it, three different combinations that do three different things. You have to reset it and blah 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 blah. Uh, so how this works is it's a so I have five digits available right here. So I have uh, one to five, and then it's a four-digit combination or like a four-digit pin. I liked I like the bank idea, so I went with a four-digit pin. 
because that's what most banks do. Um, and then you also have the, oh my god, lag spikes, okay. Uh, and then you have the um, reset switch. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, hopefully lag spikes will be to a minimum. Um, anyway, so it's a uh, four-digit pin, five numbers available. So that's a lot of different combinations, and you can do any of them. Any, like I said, like 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 I did, I can do one 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 two three four or like three two one five. You can do anything like two two three two. Like seriously, all you have to do is program it right, and you're good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I will. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the like the main one. I made another one that's really simple and you guys can pretty much just copy over and over yeah whatever um, but so anyway the main structure let's uh I like line 5 that's this is the one that I actually based everything off of and I just built off of it uh, so I should reset it so we go down here and then there's this thing hmm Actually, you know what? I like the idea of kind of going and using the other one that I built because it's a lot simpler and easier to follow, I think. And I'll go up there and show you guys that afterwards. Um, so, honestly, this is pretty much the basic design of it. This is one digit. This is, this is just like, okay, first number um, of the pin and only one button to press it. And you pretty much just copy... Uh, this, this line um, over and over and over again for each button and uh, this for uh, every pin number so every different uh, consecutive number uh, so how this works is you it goes straight down here and it hits this block uh, so because the redstone um, can't pass through the block into more redstone, but it can pass through a block into the repeater, it goes, it hits this block and goes to the repeater, but not to the other side. And so it hits this repeater and uh, gets converted uh, or inverted and then um, turns this and this both on. Now this line... Um, yeah, okay. This line uh, goes around and it hits this uh, memory gate. This is a really um, easy, to, <laughs> like easy, compact uh, memory gate. A lot easier than the ones that I was trying to use before. Um, but so it hits this memory gate and uh, flips it. And what this memory gate does is it pulls the pistons in this row, so the first digit of the pen, the first number of the pen, up so that you can't, you can no longer enter any more first, um, first numbers. So once you hit one of the first numbers, because this line goes along the entire way, th this one right here, and so if it, you hit any of the first numbers, they will, um, <clears throat> they will trigger this memory gate and turn all of these uh, pistons off, and none of, you won't be able to enter another first number. And so you do that for everything, every uh, consecutive number in the pin. So that you do that for the first number, and uh, there's no re-entries for each number, so you can enter in lots of different combinations and blah. Um, and any and okay, so that's so that you don't um, re-enter another first number. And then this right here deals with um, remembering what number it was. So this is just like, uh, so here's another memory gate. It's combined to the other one. Oh, another lag spike. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so anyway, it'll turn this on, flip the memory gate, and it will say, okay, this, this was the, um, you have to make one of these for every button on every digit. <clears throat> and so it's so, so that you have uh, a, so this is a first number, this is number, let's say, just one. So this is number one on the first number. And then you have another one down here for the second number. This is number one for the second number. 
and da 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 da. So you just have um, <clears throat> lots of different ones. So I'll hit this and it'll it'll show you. So that pulls up. This got flipped, which pushed this piston up. And this right here is for um, is just uh, how you're gonna do the um, actual like see like making the combinations and everything. And I'll show you that in a little bit. It's a lot easier to tell like kind of show what it is when you uh, have more than just one of these. <clears throat> but so anyway, um, so it turns off so that no more first numbers can be put in for the pin, and then it remembers what uh, number you hit for the first number. Um, and that's pretty much basically it, and you just copy paste that for every single button, and then uh, every single uh, first, second, third, however many numbers you want in your pin. Um, but this line and this line just kind of go um, out through the entire thing so that uh, if any of these any of these are hit, yeah, it, it will flick this because, yeah, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to explain if you um, don't kind of get it. If you guys have any questions, just uh, comment and ask. Um, but so anyway, let's get to the reset switch. So how the reset switch works is it um, you have to reset every single memory gate, so um, both of these, and then you also have to reset this because because um, how pistons work, uh, the piston will get powered by this uh, this block being powered, and so you have to reset this. And you have to do that for every single one of these. Um, but so you have to reset this so it turns off and the piston can turn off because uh, when you hit the when you reset this memory gate the piston will be turned off but it will stay on because this block is powered so you flick this you have to turn that back on and reset the memory gates and turn this off and there you go that's that like like I said that's pretty much the basic concept uh, these purple lines which are just the reset one, uh, also kind of go along, kind of like these ones to just um, every single memory gate and stuff. This one right here resets the entire uh, first line, so the first number of your pin, <clears throat> where this one would just reset the um, whichever one was picked for the first number, so you just kind of uh, drag it along, because it will. Uh, this repeater will power this block um, and uh, then you just have another, let's see, um, you'll just have another redstone right here, and it'll do the same thing for the next one, and the next one, and everything, and you can actually, you can get these pretty close together, like, I surprisingly got these, like, really close together, so it wasn't too big, but this is as close, like, this is as small as I can get it, oh, lag spike, sorry guys, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's really the basic design. Um, I will go in here and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So like this entire line is just the first digit um, where when you pick one of these numbers, this line will turn off, flipping all of these pistons, so none of them, so that you can't hit these anymore, which store the number in the memory gate telling it which uh, first number you were. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, and then the mem this memory gate is pretty easy. Um, the purple line, so you only need to reset this memory gate to reset the like uh, this part of the first line, but you also have to go along and reset whichever one of these memory gates um, worked. Oh, that's how I did that. Never mind. I didn't power through this block. I went underneath. I forgot. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, because this line is powered and it just goes down. God, stupid mobs. I thought I'd turn this to peaceful. Whatever. Uh, but anyway, so it just goes along and attaches to every single one of these memory gates so that it'll, it'll deactivate any of them that are activated. Um, and then there's also this line that resets all of these top um, things. These are just to, uh, so like 
when this memory gate is activated, this this will go up, so it automatically powers depowers this, so it goes through that block, uh, like like, goes through that block and deactivates that. And that's kind of the easiest way to do it. I couldn't think of any other way to have like the pistons push up and automatically act activate or deactivate something. So you kind of just have to have that line. Um, but yeah, so all of this entire thing right here, it's which isn't too bad, um, just deactivates all of these, and you have to have that for every single one. So you have it down here also, and these ones, and these ones. So these are all the first uh, first numbers, second numbers, third numbers, and fourth numbers. And these, this is five, four, three, two, and one so that you can have any of them on any of the spots. Um, so I guess I'll go on to this. This video is going to be long, I'm sorry guys, but it's it, this is like pretty complicated. Um, so anyway, I uh, did wood for each one of these codes, so the dark wood is its own specific code, the light wood is its, its own specific code, so the light, the light wood um, kind of also combines with the dark wood for this one because they share the same first number. Um, so all these are are a bunch of AND gates. That's really all it is. And so you have all of these. So when it's depowered, it, so uh, let's let's just follow the one 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 one. It's really easy. Uh, but so anyway, and then I'll show you the one two. Yeah. Uh, so it depowers this, which uh, will power that block, and depower this. So that's your first number. It's like okay. So your first number was one. Let's go on to the second number, and then uh, it will depower this. Activate that. Depower this. Okay. Your first your first number was one. Your second number was one. Um, both of these are deactivated, powering this block or this um, torch. So this torch is specific. <laughs> this torch, when it's activated, says okay. Your first number one was one, and your second number one was one. There you go, and it goes on, uh, it deactivates this, because this torch is like, okay, did you did you press one and then one? Yes, blah blah blah. Um, third number one, one one one. Duh. Ah, yep, and just so on, and then it goes on and activates whatever you uh, told it to. If you're gonna do a bank. You can do you can make it activate a specific uh, chess mine card or whatever. Really doesn't matter. Just pretty you can do it for pretty much anything. Just anything redstone like that you can activate with redstone. So this torch is like yes, you entered one 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 one. There you go. Um, now an interesting thing just to kind of point out because this is slightly complicated and. Uh, they act uh, these two codes activate on the same first number so it's really not that hard because they don't have the same second number but like so two codes can't have all the same numbers because then they're just going to be the same code and they're like yeah um so obviously they're going to have uh, at least one number different so you go one and so this one went to two instead so it uses the same torch so if you hit 1 and then 1, you go on to this code, and it continues to see if you enter the right numbers. Or if you hit 1 and then 2, it goes on to this one and sees if you continue to hit the right numbers. Um, and so this is another interesting part. Um, is uh, So this one it starts out on 3, it goes 3, and then the next number is 2, which uh, shares with the second number. Um, and so what it has to do is, it has to, because you don't want to interfere with your other lines, it has to go up, and so 3, this is the 3 one, and then this is the 2 one. So if you hit 3, then 2, uh, it'll activate and go on and blah blah blah, and then it also shares the 1 with the uh, first um, code, so it, it's also pretty tall. So um, this part of the... Uh, of the machine is kind of uh, bulgy, I guess. It's just like it's hard to do it in a very um, compact way because you're dealing with uh, just really weird shit. 
uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say, just because um, you can have multiple ones ha sharing multiple numbers in the same uh, row or whatever. Like you can you can have uh, this one go one 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 one, and then this one come over here and have one share one of these ones, and you have to come up and activate it with the same thing. So you just kind of build one of these spires. Or these towers, whatever, and connect it, and then bring it over, and you just got to be really careful with uh, where you're placing your lines, so that um, <clears throat> none of the other ones will activate it. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I did the codes, and like that's pretty much all I have to have to show you guys. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, please ask. I will try my best to help you out and um, yeah do what I can for you but it's uh, it's not really a terribly hard concept it's just kind of complicated um, it's it's semi complicated redstone like out of everything I've ever made it's probably one of the most complicated and maybe one of the most efficient uh, but it's like I I love this thing. This thing looks so cool. Um, so thank you, Lunu Dragon, for your amazing uh, idea. I, I I really like doing it. I hope this video isn't terribly long, and so I'm gonna cut it off really quick right now. And uh, I will catch you, mother huggers, later. Bye bye.